Madam Speaker, um, I yield myself the balance of the time. The gentleman is recognized for H.R. 9 five is minutes. not about creating jobs or helping small businesses increase hiring. It is another in a long line of Republican proposals that benefit those of us, including those of us in the House of Representatives, that are the better off Americans at the expense of the middle class. My Republican friends rejected an amendment offered by our colleague, Representative Crowley, which I offered in the Rules Committee in his stead, which would have prevented businesses from eliminating jobs in the United States while creating jobs overseas under this bill. Procedurally, it is also disconcerting that contrary to my Republican colleague's self-professed commitment to an open process, Democrats have been allowed only one substitute in an otherwise closed process. Nor was H.R. 9 the subject of any hearing before either the Full Ways and Means Committee or the Select Revenue Measures Subcommittee, with the exception of a brief question and answer session with Joint Committee on Taxation staff or during the markup. Finally, instead of taking real steps to address the very real need to create opportunities for businesses to succeed in a still nascent economic recovery, House Republicans are more than willing to rush through another tax bill that could, if it were to pass, and it is not going to, and they know that, only help those of us that are better off in society while sticking middle and low-income families with the bill and creating exactly zero jobs. And you call this opportunity? Mr. Sp Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert in the text of the along with extraneous material immediately prior to the vote on the previous question. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to vote no on this opportunity-destroying measure and to defeat the previous question. I urge a no vote on the rule, and I yield back the balance of my time.